reputation of the health insurance marketplace brought an unprecedented outreach effort to CMS. We knew that in the regions, we needed something to monitor our efforts across the country. Oops. We started our project with a grand vision, a one-stop shop platform where CMS staff could go to get information about our outreach efforts for the health insurance marketplace. They'd enter data, find materials for outreach, collaborate, and see visual dashboards of our progress. But what we quickly realized was that it wasn't possible to deliver this platform without first working on its foundation. Recognizing that we needed to improve our data collection, collection at CMS, we narrowed the scope of our project to focus on Recon. It's a CMS version of Salesforce.com that we use to track our outreach efforts. With over 200 licensed Recon users entering Marketplace data, each with their own perspective and timeframes, you can imagine that when we run reports, we see missing data, incomplete activity reports, and inconsistent reporting. Other recon limitations included limited access due to the cost of licenses for recon, and a, really a lack of incentive for staff to enter data because they didn't see how it was going to be used beyond their reporting. We looked at reports across various timeframes to get a feel for what kind of data we could get out of recon. What we found in this sample here is representative of other timeframes we looked at. There were 618 marketplace entries. 409 were missing a post-activity report. Now this is something that's very important. It can help us plan for our future events. 193 were missing actual attendance at the event. 39 were still marked as pending. So we had no idea if these had been carried out or they had been canceled. We also evaluated feedback from recon users, and we observed some recon users entering data. Based on what we learned, we made recommendations to refine recon. We created what we're calling an activity wizard. I'm gonna tell you about a few of the issues and how the activity wizard addresses them. The first is that when users complete a data record, there isn't a logical flow from start to finish. They have to navigate back and forth to multiple screens just to complete one entry. So the activity wizard will actually guide them through the process of completing a data record in a step-by-step -step process, no more going back and forth to screens. Users also complain that there are too many steps to remember to complete a data entry. The activity wizard is actually requiring now the user to enter the needed data before they can move on to the ent next entry field. So now users don't have to remember every step. And then the final um, major issue was that sometimes users get kicked out of the recon system right in the middle of their data entry. They have to log in multiple times, and they have to use a password that's different than their HHS login. Our activity wizard actually doesn't address this, but we wanted to highlight that Ignite opened the door to conversations with other HHS entities who are already using a single sign-on type of feature. And while we can't deploy this at CMS right now, we're hoping that this can lead to a future project, and we are thankful to Ignite for that. So our activity wizard has been piloted with recon lead users across the country. Based on their feedback, we're making further refinements. Then we'll pilot this with a larger recon user group and deploy it to all recon users prior to the next open enrollment period. In parallel with our work on recon, we've also been working with OBMT, which if you don't know what that is, it's the Office of Business Management Transformation and HHS Internal Consulting Group. We've been working on a prototype for a live visual data dashboard that easily guides interpretation of data and provides actionable, actionable feedback, giving us greater insight into trends, stories, and context. Oops. This slide here shows how we took the published enrollment data from ASPE's November 2014 report, so you can see it's that spreadsheet form, and we created a more visual representation of the data using a map of the US. So here you can click on a state and get that same data in a much easier to see fashion. This is a visual representation of our CMS recon data showing types of enrollment events, demographics, and numbers of attendees. And this slide is really the gold standard of what the data could be. This compares CMS outreach, uh, CMS out outreach data in the federally facilitated marketplace with enrollment data, giving us a clearer picture of our R ROI. We can see areas at the top in the top um, where we've had high attendance. So for example, Miami, you can see a big green circle. And then you can see how that corresponds to enrollment numbers in that same area. We've gotten buy-in for this prototype from CMS Director of Communications, Julie Bataille, 
and we're reviewing these visuals with other agencies to get feedback for future utilization. We have addressed the initial collection of CMS data, and our team is recommending that the department continue this project, finding a way to integrate marketplace data into a single system so it can be shared more broadly. OBMT has agreed to take on the initial leadership role for the data visualization platform, with the plan to turn this over to the eventual business owner. That's it. Lots of data, huh? <laughs> nice. Thanks so much. Uh, quick question, Stephanie. So you're obviously you're making a big improvement in the data and how it's displayed, et cetera. Can you speak a little bit more, thinking farther out, about how you would ensure that the data and the information was actually going to be used in decision making processes? So how are you going to make how does this become actionable and integrated into the decision making processes at CMS? So, and we're actually thinking beyond CMS in terms of our okay. ROI. So with the health insurance marketplace, many, many agencies have been involved, each spending their own yeah. pockets of money. Um, even at CMS, we're fractured on how we spend money. So we envision bringing all of this data into one place so that we can see how much we're spending on, on certain efforts and figure out where we need, if we need to continue in, in a certain direction or if we need to pivot. And, and focus on other areas. So we would definitely be using all of that data to inform our strategy on where we would conduct the next outreach event. Would we go to Miami, where we're not seeing enough enrollment? Are we putting too much money there versus maybe Washington or another area? Yeah, again, the, the data theme that, that, that Brian talked about. Uh, interesting from a standpoint of what data you're going to be collecting as you look past CMS with respect to your ROI. From a SAMHSA perspective, a lot of things, ACA has changed a lot of even the services that we're looking at. So I would be very interested to find out whether the data can be collected because we, we all may be pivoting with respect to our investments, our grants, and how we mm -hmm. handle those moving forward. And it would be nice to have that centralized group to make sure we're not double and triple spending on the same type efforts. And, and I don't know if you you have that level of granularity or pr plan to get to that level of granularity. We've primarily been focusing on the outreach perspective. Um, and we've brought in ASPA and ASB IEA to talk about the outreach data. But I could see that next leap into the more programmatic areas where we're making those investments. And we have to recognize that at HHS, it's not just CMS working on projects anymore. It's it's everyone, even Million Hearts and those other initiatives that are requiring that integration of data. And with limited funding and staff resources, it makes sense to, to find a way to bring that data together. Can you talk a little bit about how you plan on extending this type of project? What are your next steps specifically in terms of extension or scaling? Um, so as I mentioned, we have buy-in from the CMS side of things. Um, and Brian has been facilitating meetings with ASPE and ASPA and IEA. Um, and OBMT is, has offered to take this to the next level. So um, we're, we're in the discussions of, of who the owner would be for, for bringing all, the, all of that data together and then looking at how we would move forward. Mm -hmm.